Hi, I'm Mike Clevenger from Mason's Lead Better and welcome to the Masonic Leaders Mindset. Well, today we're going to talk about the word hubris. Generally, we use this term to describe a state of mind of someone who is, you know, overconfident, they're arrogant, and they have a general sense of lack of humility. And so when a, a leader displays hubris, he or she may believe that, you know what, uh, they are the ultimate expert on everything, regardless of the depth of knowledge or understanding they have of the subject matter. You know, typically you'll find this with a leader who believes their title. Besides giving them this authority, it also somehow magically bestows knowledge and wisdom, you know? Um, and the reason I chose this word, because lately uh, this question has been on my mind. And, and that question is, why do leaders sometimes ignore information or knowledge that would improve them or, or their organizations or help improve their chance of excess, success? Specifically, I, I, I'm referring to well-researched data, or, or they come in contact with a person who is an established authority, either inside or outside the leader's organization, and because of hubris, they, they tend to ignore them. So when a leader is in this state of mind of hubris and is presented a proven idea, method, or a path to follow, they miss, may dismiss it as you know, irrelevant, irre not applicable, or more often than not, they know very little about the subject matter and are, because of their insecurity as a leader, afraid to admit that they're uh, about their lack of knowledge. If knowledgeable opinion and methods are ignored, two significant results come to mind. First, the organization may suffer because the information or the expertise presented to the leader, if considered, may help improve the organization. And secondly, the person with the knowledge and, a, and a, you know, an absolute desire to help use it just may become discouraged and you know, withdraw from active participation. You know, they get their passion killed. So a leader with a hubristic mindset certainly does damage to an organization. So don't be that leader. Check your ego at the door, uh, along with your arrogance. Well, that's the word today, hubris, kind of a negative word, but just something to avoid. I'm Mike Clevenger with Mason's Lead Better. I'm glad you joined me. And you know what? Just have a great Masonic day. Thanks again for watching.